Hey everyone, another day, another handheld, with this one being Magic X's XU Mini M. Magic X are a relatively new budget handheld brand, previously releasing the XU 10, which we've covered on the channel, and planning to release a couple more over the next few months. What is nice to see though is Magic X do seem to be actively engaging with and responding to the handheld community, which for a brand aimed at the budget side of the scene is especially nice to see and has me looking forward to their next releases. So the XU Mini M, as the name alludes to, is a mini handheld currently floating around the $40 to $50 mark, depending on what active promotions are on at the time, and is powered by the Rock Chip 3562. This gives us access to some, but far from all of the Dreamcast and Nintendo 64 catalogues, with some chugging frames along the way for the more intensive side of those games. Otherwise, we've got a 2.8 inch display with a fine for the size resolution of 640 by 480. The battery is even more respectable for the size at a 2600 milliamp hours and a nice weight of around 120 grams all with an unfortunately locked down version of Emulek. We are also missing both video output and even more unfortunately wireless connectivity, which is the main shame when it comes to its specs in my personal opinion. So straight out of the box, the XU Mini M isn't a bad mini shell design, all things considered, but there are a few areas in terms of build quality that could be approved on, some of which, like bits of visible glue and uneven edges, will look worse on the transparent black shell in my opinion. On top we've got inline shoulder buttons, two USB-C ports and volume buttons, while on the left side we've got the one micro SD card slot and another on the right side too. Underneath we've got the speaker, grills, power and reset buttons, as well as the headphone jack and a nice visible glue streak from the inside of the shell of course, while on the back is pretty much clear. Though hopefully this gives an example of why I think the transparent colour probably looks like the cheaper finish overall. Relatively minor gripes aside though, the XU Mini M is a comfortable mini handheld to hold. The ergonomics are tricky to pull off anyway, let alone with a mini handheld, and the XU Mini M has done well here. In terms of controls, the XU Mini M is certainly passable, but again there's certainly some things that could be improved upon to get them up from passable to good. The face buttons, for example, just feel a bit too loose and hollow, which combined with their smaller size just hurts how they feel overall. The inline shoulder buttons aren't too bad. They're easy to press, though I do find myself having to move to the Pacific button rather than being able to have access to both with minimal movement. This can be a tad annoying with games where you've got to hold a shoulder button down while pressing another, but it's not too bad overall. The Hall analogue sticks feel nice and actually feel like they'd be fantastic out of actual gameplay, but in practice are just too small and restrictive for my bigger hands. I hope this would be better for those with smaller hands, but they're just a bit too restrictive for me. The D-pad is a little stiff and a little D-pad, which translates to harder than most diagonal input, but I actually found it okay overall. It's not the best D-pad and like the rest of the controls do feel a little bit on the budget side and could do a bit tightening up but with all things considered, the D-pad and actually the overall controls aren't too bad. In terms of firmware, the XU Mini M does suffer by having a really restricted version of Emulek as its stock firmware, with a lot of the customization options and even RetroArch itself locked away, which ultimately ends up hurting its overall performance. It's also worth noting that the included ROM set did have a number of seemingly corrupted ROMs, as I had a number of crashes with the included ROM set, but didn't come across any with my own collection. So, although we do have the basics like save states and even things like cheats available, the real benefits of Emulek have been locked away, which is a shame. Fortunately, Magic X are trying to open the system up to, to the developers, so fingers crossed this does happen. But for now, I'll cut some gameplay before summarizing back up at the end.
So all in all, I do end up liking Magic X's XU Mini M. It's got a very appealing power to size ratio and all the basics are there. It's just a real shame that the build quality and controls weren't better. The firmware wasn't so locked down and having Wi-Fi missing is a bummer. I can see it's still appealing despite all these flaws, but at the very least it has got me excited to see what Magic X do next. That's it for now though. Thanks so much for watching.